So, um, we are going to start from this case. So, in the page 11 of the textbook that I have provided today. So, there is a case. How should we reduce food miles? So, you see, this is the textbook that I have provided you today on page 11. Page 11, there is a case. I'm, I'm going to show you. Before, before diving to, to the chapter, I would like to t discuss some things from the case. Okay, so this is the case, page number 10, page number 11. Okay, so how should we reduce food miles? So I would like to request you to read, read the case. It's a very, uh, very small case. I don't think it, it, it won't take much time to read. Uh, so please uh, read it. Show it to Poran. So reduce food miles. So food miles, uh, do you have any idea about the topic of food miles? Food miles means actually uh, the distance, the cover from the producers to, to the ultimate consumer. So the total distance is called food miles. So uh, the, the, there is a case about a food mile and uh, the, the, there are some aspects, issues covered uh, related how to, how can we reduce the food miles? So what are the issues uh, the, that I will discuss it later on? But first of all, uh, please read the case.
আবার কেসে এটা কেমনটা লাগে So, yes, a bit. Hmm. So, okay. Uh, uh, so, this is actually uh, a, a picture, pictorial representative of this case. Okay. Uh, first of all, let me discuss about what, what is the concept of food mile. So, do, do you have any idea about how many miles? an apple can travel like if i if i import apple from uk so uk is about uh, 6000 mile away from bangladesh so apple is traveling from uk to to, to uh, bangladesh is about 6000 miles so if i uh, produce apple here in bangladesh then i, I could have reduced from 600 miles to nearly 100 miles okay or if i if i prefer the locally grown foods so if i prefer my local foods like uh, guava or mango or uh, other local foods so instead of taking apple or grape that are foreign foods so if we uh, if, if we prefer local local foods in our for food preference, then we can reduce the food mile. So you may ask me that why should we be more concerned about reducing the food mile? Because actually, not only a particular food is traveling, but also there are other issues as well. Like uh, there are food fuel cost as well. Like if you if you uh, import it uh, from 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 the UK then definitely it incurs some fuel cost, right? So it, it burns fuel, either from uh, aircraft or in a, in, in a cargo. But it, in, it incurs uh, fuel expense and it has an adverse impact on the environment. Yes, pollution is there and you, you have to excavate uh, more oil uh, from the mine it also incurs uh, pollution as well. So, uh, in order to reduce pollution, in order to reduce, reduce pollution, what we need to do, we need to reduce the traveling of our day-to-day -day community aspects as well. So, instead of um, bringing, uh, bringing vegetables <coughs> from the northern part of Bangladesh, like if I if I uh, bring uh, bring vegetables from from Ponchogor or Lalmonihar, the, the northernmost uh, districts in Bangladesh, it is a, a, about uh, 600 uh, kilometer from Dhaka. So uh, you, you have to bring bring from there to Karwan Bazar in Dhaka. It has costs, right? And, and, and we always discuss about that, yes, in there, the cost of one kg uh, brinjal is only five taka, and here in Dhaka, it is uh, 50 taka. 
why is that because of this reason because uh, you you have to you have to you have to uh, uh, you have to rent a truck or a pickup to carry those uh, uh, vegetables and also you, you have to g give some what <laughs> which cannot be ex expressed in front of the video <laughs> Okay, so uh, but it's a um, uh, it's a common practice in Bangladesh, but it, it has uh, so but uh, but at the at the end of the day, it is the consumer who has to bear all sort of cost. So uh, instead of uh, depending on importing uh, fruits from a, a foreign country, or a, a, instead of uh, bringing. Uh, bringing vegetables from the from far-fetched area of your of your own uh, motherland. What we need, what is the focus point? Is there the focus point? Is there is uh, we should focus on uh, local uh, production. That actually uh, creates the possibility of uh, reducing uh, the cost of fuel and reducing the cost of overall environment as, as well not only the environment but, but also it has uh, it, it has some uh, it would have some positive impact in the local community as well there is a uh, there is a particular goal in the sustainable de development goals that is sdg 11 sdg 11 means sustainable cities and communities which actually focuses on the your your city and community should be sustainable then that means it is it should not be depending on others like i, I said uh, said with you before that uh, if we import our uh, important commodities from foreign countries what we uh, uh, what we have to face we have to face inflation that we are facing now right and uh, yes because uh, because our essential products are increasing day by day and because actually we are importing rice, we are importing um, uh, oil. So uh, oil, oil prices are increasing. The price of um, wheat are increasing in the world due to the Russia and Ukraine war. Because actually we are depending on on, on Ukraine, and, and you can Ukraine and Russia can't uh, export uh, wheat. So the, the worldwide prices are really uh, burning at this moment. If we were depending on our, on our own uh, production uh, capacity, then we should we wouldn't have to worry about it. But but we have to worry at this moment because actually we are depending on their uh, on their uh, on their activities. If they can't export us, then nothing to do. Uh, we have to face the inflation as well. So, uh, so, so actually, this is the this is the, uh, this is the uh, more main focal point of this case. At this moment, we are highly depending on ex exporting due to globalization, right? Due to globalization, people people are consuming more products than before due to the availability of products because we know that globalization means nationless, borderless world. So, for products. Uh, can be uh, moved anywhere. So a uh, uh, consumer can uh, get any products from anywhere. So this is the, this is the reason of uh, increasing uh, the price of product at this moment. So, uh, so the, the, this, is the, this is the summary of the case and uh, the, the, that is what we see that the, go your own food or buy locally actually we, instead of preferring foreign foods or instead of preferring uh, exporting or importing we have to uh, grow our own uh, own foods in our uh, locality area so uh, at the same time we have to uh, develop our community in such a way that our community should not depending on others so this is the main uh, main uh, thing of, of this case so uh, logistics and supply chain management trends affecting sustainability uh, so, the, so the first thing is that uh, environmental issues have been an area of growing concern and attention for business on a global extent yes definitely is that scm is now a, a key focal point this moment 
and that was not before because actually supply chain management as, as you are doing doing major in this area uh, so uh, supply chain is is such important that it actually controls not only in, in the backward points of the company but also it also con controls the uh, forward aspects as well backward linkage and forward linkage of the organization uh, so uh, it has uh, as the issues in in the sustainability as well because actually sustain, sustainable aspects in the suppliers uh, supplier side and the su sustainability aspects in the consumer side are also uh, the prime concern in the field of uh, supply chain management uh, so transportation production storage and the disposal of hazardous materials are frequently regulated and controlled yeah so a couple of months ago we have uh, observed a disaster in chitrang area right container depot yes. there was an expression there was the expression because there was not uh, properly managed uh, systems were there and due to the due to the lack of uh, proper management explosion was erupted but uh, uh, but but it shouldn't be happened it should not be happened because actually it it has adverse impact the overall supply chain aspect because actually uh, those key chemicals are uh, important in our uh, different manufacturing processes so uh, this should be highly concerned by the co-concerned peoples. <coughs> so there is an example of, uh, of the Europe. In Europe, uh, farms are increasingly required to remove and dispose of packaging materials used for their uh, products. Yes, I, I have uh, seen those in Sweden as well because actually they prefer instead of uh, instead of getting a poly bag, they don't use or they seldom use poly bag. What they use, they just use some um, uh, reusable bags, or that they can be used multiple times. So they don't carry poly bags that we are carrying here in Bangladesh. They actually carry the carry the, the big bags that we used to carry in before. Maybe our and um, maybe our parents they they used to carry. And when I was a kid, I, I saw that. Because when I saw my my, my grand, grand grandfather who who went to went to the show, went to the bazaar, carrying a big bag, and, uh, and 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 seldom I went with him as well to learn how to do bazaar. Because the in my point of view, they were more smart than us. Our ancestors are more smart than us. That's what I believe. Yes, uh, because actually the, the, uh, our ancestors also use some like yes, uh, like uh, banana leaf yes. as a um, as a packaging. And now I. I see, uh, see such pack packaging in Sweden, uh, banana leaf packaging. The, the, the system that we left, they are, they are grabbing this system. We avoid jute and they embracing jute. I was a student of Uppsala University. There are another big university in Sweden that, that is Gothenburg University. So Gothenburg University, they have a project on jute bag. And uh, one of our researchers names uh, Dr. Mobar Hosen Sar. Mobar Hosen Sar, Sar has a project on jute bag. His project wasn't embraced in Bangladesh, but his project is highly accepted in Sweden. Now uh, they are uh, they are doing joint projects in Sweden. Then how to produce those uh, jute bags? very uh, efficiently and effectively and more environment friendly as well because as we as we know that uh, jute bags are uh, highly uh, biodegradable poly bags are, uh, are not biodegradable it takes about 500 years to uh, completely degrade in the soil whereas uh, jute bags take uh, 120 to uh, 200 days to uh, completely dissolve in uh, uh, in the soil so 
Okay, so, uh, so that, this is the innovation that we need to uh, focus on. Second one is globalization. So uh, globalization, globalization things that we have, uh, we have said it before that globalization means uh, it's called nationless and borderless world. So we can, uh, we can consume or we can take or we can choose any product and consumers can demand any product from anywhere, right? Uh, because actually well, due to the rise of e-commerce that, that we are going to discuss later on uh, the, in the next slide, it will appear. So globalization, it actually creates um, the demand actually. It has, a, uh, it has a open market policy. So it creates such activities that yes, uh, we have to consume more consumption actually increase or actually encourage the consumption aspects uh, of, uh, of the world. So, the, so the, this is called globalization and relationships and our outsourcing. So, uh, so relationship is very important uh, in business. So not only we have to maintain relationship uh, with a supplier, but also we need to maintain relationship uh, with our distributors and Customers and consumers as well, because actually, uh, as we know, the, that customers and kind of consumers are different, right? Uh, so uh, raw, raw materials, because actually, without the proper relationship with suppliers, they may not supply us the raw materials that we need to uh, require to produce our products. So uh, a good relationship is very important and we have to uh, make them an integral part in our overall operation process. As I discussed in my last class that uh, Walmart ha has, a, uh, has a technology that whenever a Walmart sell a, a, a one unit of product, this no no notification can eventually go to, to their supplier as well. And supplier knows that yes, Walmart has just sold that particular product. So now we need to replenish. we need to replenish as much as much as I can. So uh, so it is very important uh, to maintain relationship. And uh, yes, de definitely technology helps us. Technology helps us to um, to regulate this relationship uh, at a great extent. So yes. Now, this is technology. So technology, uh, sometimes people are afraid of technology, right? People are being afraid of technology. Okay, Te technology is a cards or technology is a giant. Technology may lose our job, right? Hmm? Te technology may lose our job. Technology on the job cable. We are, the, we are thinking like this. So like in my uh, Dhaka University, so in the uh, transcript area uh, that we uh, that we withdraw our uh, certificates and, and transcript. So that area is completely manual. There is no technological things there. Our certificates are also written in uh, manually. There is no uh, involvement in technology back in uh, 2010 and now in 2022 same same things happen and they take three months to six months to e issue one certificate and uh, for transcript uh, yes uh, the, there are some computerized format it may take uh, uh, nearly uh, one or two or but they charge 5000 taka or 6000 taka which is uh, really weird, okay? So, uh, but actually they don't embrace technology, why? Because uh, they fear that if, if the Dhaka University Authority uh, uh, install that technology, uh, instead of manually written certificates, if they, if they start giving students the printed certificates, then they will lose their job and they have very strong syndicate and they actually controlled so uh, so actually they uh, they actually prefer the prefer that the thing is uh, they uh, they actually prohibit 
this, this change. So, but we can't uh, avoid the technology. We can't uh, avoid the technology. Uh, rather, we need to uh, embrace that technology as much as we can. The Internet of Things and the logistics of uh, as logistics supply chain. So, Internet of Things that means IoT. Okay. So, this is an example of, of the. Of the the technology as we know that uh, in, uh, internets of things are, are quite popular at this moment as we are not, not a tech guy here. Uh, but uh, internet of th th things are also an integral aspects in supply chain management at this moment. And actually um, instead of manually controlling our overall uh, logistics operation, we are, uh, we are highly depending on, on the te technological things. Uh, that is uh, that, that is essential uh, to control uh, the overall overall supply chain uh, management model in the organization. Okay, so yes, so there is a time compression, the lean versus agile. So uh, there is a there is a two paradigm that is uh, that is uh, discussing here. Oi, you know, connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, I think the same. Okay, so just yes, forget it. So please see the slide. Huh? So, so slide number nineteen. So the slide number nineteen is the, the lean paradigm, and the the. Slide 20 is about uh, the agile paradigm. So number 19, the lean paradigm means uh, it is the based on the principle of lean production. So there might be a particular subject on lean management later on. Uh, in the automotive sector where a value stream is developed to eliminate all waste including time and ensure a level of production system, that actually is, is a matter of uh, increasing the efficiency of your operation. So uh, lean management thinks that uh, it tries to um, increase the efficiency by reducing waste. For example, if I waste that time, so definitely it actually uh, hampers the production. Instead of taking 5 minutes, if I take 10 minutes of producing a particular product, then definitely it has a adverse impact in the overall production. So then how to reduce uh, the uh, time waste in my overall production aspect? That is the main concern of uh, lean paradigm, okay? And the second one that is uh, in slide number 21 is the agile paradigm. So agile paradigm means uh, has its origin in, in principles of channel uh, postponement. Under postponement, cost can be reduced by postponing changes in the forms and identity of a product to the last possible point to the process that is manufacturing or uh, postponement. That means actually, uh, for example, uh, the agile paradigm says that if a particular uh, product takes five steps or five stages of production, then instead of using five stages, if I complete it within four stages, then the one stage is not required. Then I, I can eliminate that particular stage in my uh, production process. In this way, I can, I can uh, minimize the time and at the same time, I can uh, reduce the number of process as well. Yes, definitely. Not only for the cost management, but also it also uh, preserves our time as well, save our time. So, okay. So the, the so so as I as as I paradigm actually uh, another another aspects is that um, it is uh, it is also uh, the the sign of efficiency as well. So instead of taking five steps. If you complete it within four stages, then that means you are more efficient. If you are working in a manufacturing company, then you might have seen such things that there are some stages of productions. Maybe a particular product can take three stages, 
another product can take four stages. So if you reduce by one stages, one stage or two stages, then definitely it will take um, uh, less time than before. But de definitely at the same time, you have to ensure the efficiency, right? And, and ensure the quality as well. If you reduce the time and reduce the stage, but if you sacrifice the quality, that is not the uh, that is not the viewpoint of agile and uh, lean. They are, the, they, are, they are the quality management tool that we are discussing more in, in our later chapter, probably in chapter 6, uh, we will discuss more about uh, those co -quality, uh, co quality management tools. Okay. So, uh, and the last, uh, last th thing is the rise of e-commerce. The, the rise of e-commerce, uh, th that is slide number uh, 24. So, what is e-commerce? If I say it to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, why e-commerce is so popular at this moment? What do you think? Easy to get the product. Okay. Then, anything? Then, So yeah, so mm, there are uh, other issues actually, uh, because actually uh, instead of uh, going uh, uh, going in person in a particular place, uh, we, we can e easily get, uh, and there are actually uh, delivery services as well. So uh, now uh, due to the, the, the doorstep delivery, uh, we can, uh, we can order any product from our home or from our office as well and the and the concerned seller they can uh, reach uh, reach the particular product to our doorstep so um, the e-commerce is not only popular in the consumer space but also popular in the business space let us b2b business or b2c c2c uh, or c2b so we all know about it, those things, right? Business to business, business to consumers, consumers to consu consumers, or business to consumers. Uh, so, uh, so, 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 these are the major shifts um, in the uh, business, uh, business activities in recent times. So, um, rise of e-commerce e actually uh, signs of some uh, shifts in supply chain as well, right? For example, like uh, in pre previous, we were not uh, much used uh, with the with the delivery service, or in in, in colloquial term is courier service. Okay, but now uh, we are very accustomed with courier service <laughs> because there is a part how uh, Red X or. Sundar Bhavan is a, one of the pioneer cool courier services in Bangladesh. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the, in recent times, the, there are lots of courier services are operating in in Bangladesh. Uh, so actually, it is it it is happening because of the rise of e-commerce. Not only in Bangladesh, but also all over the world. The popularity of Amazon, the popularity of Alibaba. So we can we can deny those things, and we can easily uh, easily purchase products 
from, uh, from AliExpress. You can easily purchase for product from uh, eBay or, uh, or from, uh, from Amazon by, by sitting here. What I, what I need? I, I need an international credit card. That's it. And if you calculate, the, the most funny thing is that it has a, uh, less price than in Bangladesh. प्रोडक्टाउज मान इफ आई कन्ट इन फ्रम यूएसडी टू the uh, bangladeshi taka it it has about uh, 1500 taka 1500 taka but eta eta jokhon ami dhaka te dekhlam dam dhaka te amar wife amake boshe je eta dam koto janen apni elam dam koto koy beshi na 12000 taka to 12000 taka dame jama ami kinchi koto diye 1500 taka diye ali express e bochhen kina karon ei jama ta ora oi china theke import kore niye asche चाइनीज जमा पा जाए बच्चा एखे हाँ चाइनीज थाइलैंड जमागुलो आई जमागुलो आपनी जो आली एक्सप्रेस देखें दाम अनेक कम बुझे अपना खाली क्रेडिट कार्ड लगे किस लगे ना दाम और कम एख मैं एख तो आसल क्रेडिट कार्ड कारण तो दाम समस्या है तो परिस्थिति खराब बाट हमें वही दुई हज़ार ये हे दुहजार বিশের লাস্টের কথা বলতেছি আর কি এই তো তখন আমি সুইডেনে ছিলাম ওকে সো থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ ফর ইউর টাইম সো ইউ ক্যান ডিসকাস মোর অ্যাবাউট দিস চ্যাপ্টার ইন আওয়ার নেক্সট ক্লাস ওকে সো থ্যাংক ইউ সো প্লিজ গিভ মি দ্য লিস্ট অফ আইডিস Okay. Uh, sorry, actually, I, I, I am not physically okay today. Um, I, I'm, I'm suffering from fever and dysentery, and I am taking antibiotics today. Uh, so I am, I am bringing four medicines with me today. So I'm not okay. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.